What's going on, guys? This is probably going to be the last Tinkerer's Cube that we try. This best of one format that's completely enjoyable. <clears throat> just absolutely. Just, just enjoyable. It's all, do you have the removal? Okay, you lose. That's exactly what it is, yes. Yep. So let's just take every piece of removal we can find. Don't know why you switched to that view, but okay. Oath of Kaya. That's removal. Done. And maybe Isolated Chapel comes back. That'd be pretty sweet, right? Is Storm in here? No, there's no Storm in the in the Tinker's Q on MTG Arena. Uh-huh. Should also be best of three. I, go, I agree completely. I've said it in every single video. So hopefully if you guys are watching on YouTube, you're not tired of me hearing it. I want to take Anointed Procession because that's a broken card in this in this format. Maybe we can do some broken stuff. Probably not. We'll probably just miss a fourth land and uh, get stomped by a 14-14 on turn three. But, you know. That's the way the cube is meant to be played. Mortify. Perfect. The key to it is first pack, you draft all the white cards. Prioritize fixing very highly. Then pack three, you get all the spells and shove them up your butt. Also, if you guys are looking for a great internet security solution, if you guys are looking for a VPN, way to mask your internet activity or uh, just get, you know, different programming uh, from Netflix or Disney Plus, things like that, uh, definitely check out nordvpn.org slash franklapore. You can get 68% uh, off. For the first two year subscription and uh you get a month free so it's a pretty good deal 25 months at 65 68 percent off and uh it's also a great way to support the channel so do that and uh everybody wins Okay, so we're looking for token makers. Piper of the Swarm makes two tokens. That's pretty good. There's no removal. All right. Chromatic Lantern. Let's get Temple because I feel like we're probably going to want green in here. Or we can get Chromatic Lantern. No, let's get Temple. Make sure you mask your internet nowadays. You don't want your laptop to get COVID internet 19. <laughs> it's true. It's true. Okay, so now this makes two one ones. Whenever an aura you control becomes attached to a creature you control. So we're actually going to... Uh, dude, we're going to play tokens and auras in the same deck. Arkins, I tried. It's not good. I mean, that doesn't. I don't necessarily. I don't know if that means uh, that it's never good, right? Like, yeah, Tenderfoot Dryad is 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 actually. Legitimately broken. Shockingly so.
And again, like in this format, if you don't got the removal for him, good luck. Well, you don't need luck because it'll just be dead, but... Like, if we can go turn 4 Anointed Procession, turn 5 Tenderfoot Dryad, like... Good lord. Oh, Roar of the Worm? You guys know Roar of the Worm makes two, uh... Two 6-6s, six right? Oh, Isolated Chapel did come back. We can take all that glitters, but... I don't care about all that. G4 Tech TV. Wow. Oh god, I'm dropping things all over the floor. Things are happening. Oh, Arista the Redeemed? In our token deck? Oh yeah. Oh yeah. Imperius Perfect in our token deck? Oh yeah, we're doing it. Living the dream. Kind of. Also, Citizen Champion triggers with Oath of Kaya, which is pretty sweet, and Anointed Procession. I like it. None of these are exciting. Rampart Smasher is probably the, the one we're actually almost able to cast, maybe. I mean, we're never going to play pay four green for that guy, so... Yeah, you're never getting played either. Uh, sure. Ooh, Godless Shrine is nice. So is Path Path of Discovery? So is Face Fetters. Hmm. Hmm. It might just... I think it's actually... Bastion's good too. I think it's Fates Fetters and hoping Godless Shrine or Bastion comes back. Great Henge. Unfortunately, we're not super high on power. Card is still bonk, but it's also non token. I'm just taking Temple Plenty. Oh, I like Woodland Cemetery wow. here. Hang Executioner makes two one ones. Eh. Yeah, I'm just taking Woodland Cemetery here. Sword does make tokens, but I I kind of imagine it'll come back. I'm just taking Lord again. I'm just I'm still I still believe that we can get our Lord going. Maybe it's Crawl Harpooner actually. Yeah, I'll take Crawler Pooner. Maybe. I don't know. Jeez. <sighs> it's one of these two. Yeah, my sap herd makes two one ones, but master splicer makes two three threes. I'm gonna go with the splicer. I'm trying to put these like these D hangers. 
these guys into the into a box instead of the bag that they came in but I think that might actually just not might not work I might just have to leave them in the bag so that's what the noises you guys might be hearing yeah now I made a big mess <clears throat> you hanging D I am I am I'm hanging some D I, I zone eh? Actually, again, Izoni's pretty decent here because doubling the tokens. My god, the number of D references you guys just made is pretty impressive. Raise the alarm? Sure. It's a nice safe two drop. For each creature with like one one counter on it. I don't think that's whenever you choose each other's clumps, it's just the rest of our creatures. Uh, none of these are actually great for our deck. We can actually cast Brokos with our mana. Yeah, I think Exaltation could be fine. We just have to find evasive creatures. Because otherwise you're just attacking with like a 199 without trample or anything, so. Oh, Albrontodon came back? Over on Battleman actually seems great here. Reason being, we well, let's just play Anointed Procession on turn three. Which is kind of a big deal. Well, I'll take this guy because we can cast it. You're kind of a big... How dare you, Agent Cody Ganks? You're kind of a big deal. I mean, there technically is a hunter cam. He's just not in the bed right now. No one is in the bed. Alright, last pack. Abzan Trium seems good. Better than anything else in this pack as well. Hateful Eidolon doesn't do anything. No. Yeah, we're just taking the Trium that has all three colors. It seems great. Where's Divine Visitation when you need it? Mouth Defeat actually seems really good here. Don't care about Sage. Don't care about Kavu. Equals your Devotion to White. I don't think your Devotion is going to be that good. I'm just taking Mouth Defeat. Knight of Autumn seems good. Oh, Mantle of the Wolf seems good. Again, this triggers Satessan Champion as well. And we can find it with Siona. Yeah, all right. Night of Autumn's good, and I hope it kind of kind of kind of tables. But unbreakable formation seems pretty pretty good. It's still snowing outside, which is very weird. It was ninety degrees yesterday. Today it's snowing. Uh, start to finish. Or champion of Lamholt. Champion makes two tokens on recast? Oh, this, this champion. It's true. I think this champion's better, though. Uh, it's definitely, it's definitely snow, because it's like 30 degrees outside. 
Oh, Calyx is interesting. Well, you're feeling an enchantment card among them. What are what's our number of enchantments? I actually don't know. Only four. <laughs> it's pretty low. Exiles a creature enchantment you don't control until target enchantment you control loses until target enchantment you control loses the battlefield. Is Calyx good? We can just try to pick up a bunch of enchantments. I think it's worth trying for sure. Mushroom of Lamholt? What does that even mean? What's that noise? I don't know what that noise is. Can you guys hear that? French for mushroom is champignon. <laughs> that's cool. See, that's funny. This is an enchantment. Create and it creates one ones. Oh boy, that's actually perfect for us. And let's just draw some cards. We have five lands, so this is putting us at 20 cards. We need three more playables. But we could also just play, like, Exaltation, which is actually pretty good for us. Broke us as an option. Hmm. Well, there's no real enchantments here that we're going to consider playing. The diversity of life on each plane gives it Gamma sick. Glad to hear, buddy. I mean, not glad to hear that you were feeling down. I hope you're feeling better now. I kind of like back for more, but I also don't think it's. Oh, create four one one dogs. Oh boy. That's creating eight dogs for us. Hmm. This is whenever an enchantment is about to fill, look at the top three cards in your little land, put it into your hand, put the rest on the bottom. Actually, really surprised when Mantis Fall came back. Welcome to my world. It's weird that Ashok's in the format. Like, what are you? Like, you're never boarding it in. It's just you're gonna play Ashok main deck. That's weird. Uh, wow, Sun Scourge came back and Unbreakable Formation. Let's Unbreakable Formation. Yeah, that's pretty good. There might be, actually, there might be like a mill deck. I mean, I, I don't, I haven't seen enough components for a mill deck, but I know there are mill cards. So a number of enchantments now. Seven? That's better. Yeah, we can cut her. One good, 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 good. Uh, actually, Jang Yangu doesn't seem great. Is Enchantress present? I mean, like, if we cut it, it lowers this to six. I 
think it's probably good enough. I think Momentous Fall is kind of meh. Like, all of our guys are like 1-1s and 2-2s. Two I think that's good. God, and this guy goes out of his way to get the good lands that he likes in his deck. That's unbelievable. One, two, three, four, five. So this is five, six, seven, eight. One, two, three, four, five, six. And then five, six, seven, eight, nine. I'm going to go eight, eight, seven. Actually, we don't have that much black at all. Yeah, maybe I'm not doing that. So one, two, three, four, five, six. Six actually seems fine. Maybe it should be seven, actually. So this is five, six, seven, eight, three, four, five, six, seven, and then five, or four, five, six, seven, eight. This is eight, eight, seven, which I think is probably better, even if like, we still want black on two and on three and double black here, so. All right. Let's see how quickly we can lose to Lord of Extinction and 9-9 Voracious Hydras. Yep, that's why we... I guess we're just going to play Riss. Yeah, Michael, my head's been killing me, dude. So I've also uh, been a little... I, I don't know, like, I, I feel like I've been more frustrated than normal type, but just because, like, I'm like my head's hurting, and, like, I feel like it's... It almost feels like sinus pressure, like, when it rains. Or, like, barometric pressure, like, affecting. This guy can shoot my guy, right? Yeah... Oracle. Seems good. Well, on the bright side, I think if we kill this guy, they're not going to be able to... Uh... I think killing this is more important than uh... losing risks. Getting some random Arctic paraphernalia for the Frank stream team. <laughs> How do you want to get it? Arctic Avengers, send me an email at frank at com, and uh, we can I can I can send you the deets. Do 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 so two for this guy, three for this guy, five total. We could play Art Angelic Exaltation, or we could play Mouth and Temple, or we could just make a guy and play Temple, and then next turn make two guys. Kind of like that. Yeah, we can play that guy next turn, because at, at the very worst, he's drawing a card off of Exaltation.
Oh, all right, cool. Wow, Karn's Bastion following Song going off is pretty insane. Like, it's just... I feel like I'm just kind of watching these decks, like, fucking do these bonkers things. And I'm just like, make a 1-1 one -one with my deck that I thought was really sweet. Oh, and now you got 15 power on the board. It's just really kind of obnoxious. Oh, look, they all have Trample, too. Fantastic. Just absolutely fantastic. Aren't rats more useful than elves? Yes, but I was trying to be more mana efficient. Like, they're all indestructible and trampling, so why even bother blocking any of these things? Sweet. One, two, three, four, five. So I'd like to play this guy. It's not an alpha. There you go, you figured it out. Oh, really? This is too good? Okay. Well, that's fascinating. Oh, this thing has first strike anyway. Yep. Okie dokie. Um... One, two, three, four, five. So this is what creates for each token, create a copy. So we're making two creatures next turn. I think we're just blocking with Master Splicer here. Interesting. Mm -hmm. 
Sacred token. I think it's probably just this. I think this has to be better than, like, any alternative. Turn artifact or enchantment. Sure, get back your chamber sentry, I'm sure. Yep. Oh, you're gonna make song. Sounds good. Pass to attackers. Yep. Pass to blockers. Pass to damage. This game is awkwardly close. Sure. Sure. How many? Well, one, two, two creatures in the graveyard. That's not as good. So we take one next turn, and this does not go off. So that's good. This is all they have in hand, but they can literally just... They can't kill us with it yet, I guess. I think we're just still on the no attacks plan. Trying to buy one more turn. Yep. Sure. Oh, I fucking hate that. No, we can't risk and steal. We don't have the mana for that. Oh my god. This format's fucking terrible, dude. I played one draft and noped on out. Yeah, I mean, like, it's just fucking miserable. Like, like, there's just so much, like, degenerate nonsense that you just don't have answers to. It's like a low-powered cube that has these insanely high-powered cards. That, like, if you get them, you're like, well, all the no-powered, all the low-powered cards just can't beat this card, so... Congrats that you opened it, I guess.
Yeah, it definitely feels like a way to convert gems into like fewer fewer gold. God, it's really coming down out there. It's like snowing. I know I said that, but it's still snowing, so. Oh, bane fire on my my hippo. My hippopotamus. <laughs> so this guy's just gonna die. Man, I really don't have much going on here, do we? I guess we can Oath of Kaya kill the Phoenix. And then just start making some rats. Sure. Pass the damage. So we can actually play this and make a rat. It's actually pretty good. Well, I don't think we want to do this. I'm going to submit zero. This guy's reach, right? Okay. Actually, could we have just won there? I think we might have been able to win if we just attacked with the two rats and made another rat, so. But again, we have this one creature that they can't deal with, so they're just probably dead because it's 10-10. Yeah, Champion has the no block effect, so like, as long as like her power is like 12, then the other creatures are not going to get through. Or rather, I guess they are going to get through, I guess is what, what the... My head is like, really irritated. I'm gonna keep it. We have a ton of green, eight sources of green. I think that's probably enough. And it is.
You know what? Do I need a second green? Not really, and I definitely don't want a one, two, three, four. Seventh land. Guess we're getting that land anyway. This is nice because we have two creatures to put the counters on, so it's very possible that we might be able to draw two cards from this. Well, that is something. gonna take it they're like I'm not gonna risk my Golos I'll never put my Golos at risk I mean they're definitely activating Golos here yeah Oracle Swamp and Terrarian oh look at how nice Now you have a choice between playing the swamp. Yep. There. Sure. Okie dokie. Um. One, two, three, four, five, six. And we have yet to join and draw, draw anointed procession, so that's kind of a bummer. I mean, they're just going to keep Golosing, right? So it's kind of hard to deal with. Sure. Emery land land seems good. I am. Three, four, five, six. We have seven total mana to, to work with this turn. We can play Enchantress's Presence and Mantle, or Enchantress and Mortify. The problem is they just activate Emery and play Golos again. That's pretty bad.
Seems good. Three, four, five, six, seven. Awkwardly the best we can do here. Just gonna take nine. In what world is playing Tristani better than just activating Golos? These are interesting decisions. <laughs> seems seems bad. So one, two, three, one, two, three, and I guess we can do this. Six twenty nine, ten eleven, twelve three. I mean like we can block a bunch, I guess. Yeah, I'm pretty sure we're just dead. Like, there's just no way to come back from these stupid positions. You gonna bounce it in response?
So, 1, 2, 3, 4, 6, 7, 8, 9, 12, 12, 13. We, like, we just don't have enough here at 4. 1, 2, 3, 4. They have Vigilance, right? This game has been way more exhausting than it is fun. Which is sad because I'm I'm a humongous cube fan. After this, we're gonna be playing tomorrow and we're gonna be doing the um I forgot what it was called. It's the David McDarby cube. Anyway, it's a Magic Online cube. You know what? I will keep that. And guys, the best part, it'll be best of three. I know. It's hard to believe. This guy's gonna get quenched, because that's just how it goes. Oh, wow. I'm not gonna attack, because they could have a raising alarm. And they just get to eat wrists, and that doesn't seem good. So... Comes Banishing Light. Okay. The world is ending. Yeah, it's been snowing all day, which is super weird. It was 90 degrees yesterday. Today it's like 30. Uh, there's also a major road, like, right on this side of the, of the house. Um, yeah, I'll keep this. <coughs> it's got all the lands I like. Well, the snow isn't actually sticking, it's just kind of melting, so it's not really, the, the roads aren't super snowy. I am a big fan of Satessin Champion into both of these. That seems good. I'm going to bottom this because we didn't really have the hand for it. Though I'm sure I'll regret it later in the game. I mean, we're letting them get an extra guy, but I think getting 1-2-2 one, two, two for them, or 1-1 well, one, one after we kill this, is worth drawing a card. So. Ooh, no attacks is nice. I'm a fan. It's 
Gotta be this, right? Uh, no attacks. Seems good. Oh god, it never fails. This draws as a card, but does that do anything? Anointed procession is interesting. Now I don't want to cast this yet. That's sad. Oh, we can play release the dogs. You want to release the dogs next turn? I would love to release the dogs. I think ours are already released. Yeah, they need to get going. It's okay. It's only a 6-6. Six, six. That seems good. A neighbor child's playing in the snow. Is there snow? Is it sticking? Yeah. Oh, that's weird. The dad just pegged him in the face with a snowball. <laughs> Why is it snowing in September? I don't understand what's happening. Why not? <clears throat> is that probably how it works? To, probably to balance out the other natural disasters, like the, the fires. Yeah, I guess that's true. It's all just... It's the balance of the world. Yeah. How was your day? Cold. There was still air conditioning on at the hospital. I'm just going to take six here. Two, three, four, five, six, seven. I think we just have to play this. <clears throat> we get to draw two cards from it. I've drawn cards. And here's perfect, I guess, is fine. So next turn, if we can untap and release the dogs, I think we're actually okay, but I don't think we're going to be able to do that. We have four blockers. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. We take... Th one, two. Take three, six, seven, eight. Go to three. That's if they have nothing else. She just left this down here. <laughs> Seems good. Make sure you give that guy a trample so that I can't really effectively block it. you. <clears throat> Don't know how this is going to end, but uh, I'm pretty sure we're fucking dead, because why wouldn't we be? I may just have to put this guy in front of this guy, which is unfortunate. <clears throat> 33 in front of 33. So, 4-4 four, four in front of 4-4, four, four, sure, 2-2 two, two in front of 4-5, we take 3, 4, 6, 7, 8, 
Yeah, I mean, they definitely should have actually activated their destiny spinner to make another 3 3, because I'm pretty sure that would kill us. Because we're at 3. See, that's interesting. Oh, good, we don't have a guy anymore, so we don't actually get to do that. <laughs> One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. So we have eight mana, which is actually pretty good. Because we can play Calyx and get rid of this guy and make four wolves. Four, eight, eight creatures, eight. Oh man, this is actually not bad. And then we just get rid of the seven, six, I guess. I am born of Nyx, child of the stars. <clears throat> Until Oath of Kaya leaves play, because this is like the worst enchantment we have. Punishment befitting of the crime. Well, we're at three. But we have eight doggies. Oh my god, please stop barking. Oh, they didn't do anything. What does Izoni make? One, two, so four? Two, three, four, five, six, one, two, three. Actually, that's not terrible. <clears throat> and whiff. Okay. The patterned future appears before me. One, two, three, four, five, six. Sure, it's just the eye zoney. Yeah, Exaltation lets us attack, but we can, I'm just going to do that next turn. I'm also going to make Riss. Oh my god, Riss this turn seems insane. <clears throat> next turn, paying six. Oh my god. How many tokens does that make next turn if they can't deal with that Riss? Oh, it also doesn't matter that we put on this because there was a token, so that guy's never coming back. So... Wow. I have no idea what happened in that game other than anointed procession being broken and taking over the game so um yeah keep this turn two piper turn three imperial is perfect <laughs> 
Come at me, bro. Do I just block and deal with a shock, or do I just take one? I'm gonna, I'm gonna block. I don't think you got a shock, and if you do, my Imperius Perfect lives. So that's cool. See, now I'm just going to take one. I value this higher. Maybe just play Risk, make a... make lots of things. So one, two, three, four. We can actually just make a bunch of things. Yeah, we're just gonna do that. Three tokens it is. So this presents something going a four four next turn, which is just fine with me. Opponent's turn. Does it say that? Why did it say that? I don't I'm not familiar with that ever saying that. Wait, why didn't it... Did I just play Rift last turn? Why didn't it let me activate Rift? Oh, it's three mana. Why did I think it was one mana to activate this? What an absolute dummy. So, one, two, three, one, two... We can actually just play Release the Dogs. I do kind of want to draw some, some cards, though. Oh, I would have definitely made two, then, instead of a rat. Well, that is sad. 
And then you're going to claim the firstborn. This is a very solid play. Yeah, this is very good. Castle on breath. That's actually fine. Oh man, releasing the dogs with Champion of Lampolt in play? That's wild. Yep. We're at 10. We probably should have killed Angraf there, but I'm kind of like losing my focus for some reason. Two temples. When all you need is a knife. I think we're just going mouth here. I don't think we need more tokens. We just need more. We need things that actually benefit us that get us like value like uh anointed procession or the uh one two three four five or the card that like gives us uh exalted guys there has not been a, sub a sub in like two hours you guys should definitely consider subscribing or following if you're enjoying the content and uh I appreciate it. It's a great way to support the channel. So we got one, two, three, three in the graveyard. One, two, three, four, six, seven mana. Oh my god, Josh with the five gifted subs. I appreciate you, buddy. I didn't know you were lurking. You old lurker, you. Josh, thank you, my dude. Thank you. Ever the supporter. Thank you. Uh, stealing the Jester is... That's actually when they... I mean, I was just probably going to kill it and then attack you. the the big fat idiot. Thank you. So that they don't have menace anymore. Thank you, Josh. Any word with the uh, the VPN situation? You best start thinking fast. One, two, three, we have on three man. We can crack this and make a bunch of dogs. Crawler pointer doesn't do much. 
feed lets us draw two. I kind of like that, but I think I'm just going to make a guy. Actually, yeah, we'll just make a guy. Alex from Morty Mill today saying they moved to a different team. And okay, cool. That's good to know. Look at all my rats. I got rats in different area codes. Thank you, my friend. Birdo, thank you for the sub, buddy. Welcome back. Still three, right? Uh, Riss, Imperius, and Champion? Sure. I'm probably just gonna feed here. Oh, Unbreakable seems great next turn after we release the Hounds. That's probably game, right? I'm no expert. <laughs> oh, Zaxor. Good times. Mm, no attacks. Okay, we don't even get to Unbreakable Formation. That's unfortunate. Apparently our dogs are just too good. Also, guys, it is September. September has some pretty sweet deals. 20% off the first month of new recurring one-month subs. 25 off the first three months of new recurring three-month subs. Or 30% off the first six months of new recurring six-month subs. So, if you guys are... New and want to take advantage of September and support the channel, definitely do that. You can also check out nordvpn.org slash franklapore. You will get 68% off a two-year subscription along with one month free. So definitely check that out if you guys are looking for a VPN, if you're looking for some internet security, a little bit more safety, a little bit more privacy, or a way to uh, look at region-locked content like that on Hulu or Netflix, Disney+. Plus. Check out nordvpn.org slash franklapore. It's a great way to support the channel, too. Or you can check out manatraders.com. I was going to say slash, slash franklapore, but it's not. It's just manatraders.com. And the link and promo code are down in the description below for 20% off the first three months. They have a great subscription service for Magic Online. These are... This is... This sounds pretty rough. I'm gonna keep it because fetters, and I think we're I think we're just gonna draw whatever we need. Set your prawn browsing mind at ease. <laughs> Where's the lie? Oh wow. See, set us in champion into both face fetters and mantle seems real juicy. Unless they counter it. Oh, beautiful. Oh wow, one a one three thren threnody threnody singer. Huh. Are they gonna ninjutsu us? Oh, well that's worse. I don't appreciate it. No, sir, I don't like it. Well, they get one more hit and then we get to mantle it, or uh, face fetters it. So. Yikes.
Interesting. I feel like this is getting countered, and it's going to be really disappointing for me. Okay. It was not. Okay. I don't have the money, but I need that Pikachu emote in my life right now. Sagasaur, man, I appreciate you, buddy. Thank you, my dude. Seven cards, huh? I guess I could just hover over it and it'll tell me with the hand icon. What is this? Say what? Each opponent mills two cards. Good grief. <laughs> Do you guys hear these dolls? Oh boy. Oh my god. Wally's bark is like literal ridiculous. It's not even a bark, it's just like a cry. Oh yeah, that's the stuff. <laughs> Surprise Pikachu's OP. Oh, don't feel bad for Lil Wallulum. So what can we do here? We can Calyx to get rid of this. Because I'll treat you and continue to leave the battlefield. So we have five mana. The problem is I have no idea how much how much card drawing they can they can take advantage of here. I feel like it's just Calyx. Get rid of this thing. The selfish will be brought to order by my hand. I think we're at no attacks right now. And if they want to go after Calyx, like, I'll eat the Soul Warden, it's fine. Of course, killing this guy does not set the enchantment free, thankfully. Oh, that's a big dude. Man, I wish I played a land second. Three, four, five, so we'll have seven mana. I could just play both of these. They're not super exciting, though. Yeah, that's fine. There's no accounting for luck. Maybe yours will hold. I constantly seek to innovate. Yep. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. I might just cast this as a seven.
We have no creatures in the graveyard. One card. I feel like we just want to drop Worm. The next turn we can actually go Worm Perfect Temple, which is not bad. Four, five, six. Mm, Raise the alarm doesn't do anything here. Yep, get rid of that. So this is three, four, five, six, seven, eight flying. Yep, that's pretty bad. Pretty sure we're just losing the flyers here because we have no way to deal with it. Thank you guys for watching. Slam those like and subscribe buttons. Check me out on twitch.tv slash franklapore, manitraders.com, coolstuffinc.com, and nordvpn.org slash franklapore. All the links and promo codes are down below. Be sure to use them. And I'll see you next time. We just won't be playing this, this, this cube format. That leaves more to be desired. I'll see you guys later.